Hey there, Mr. Bill Poker Peeps. What an absolutely gorgeous day in North Texas. It doesn't get any better than this. Love springtime. I also love playing cards, winning, having a good time. I had a great week this week. I got to play at both my Wednesday Night Poker League and at Windstar this week. Um, I got a package in the mail that I've been waiting for. That's a little teaser for later. And Vicki and I got to go to the University of Arkansas and see Billy. First time we've been up there since he's uh, uh, gone to school there uh, in December. Uh, great parents, huh? <laughs> Anyhow, we flew into uh, Fort Smith, Arkansas, cute little airport, drove up to see Billy, and really stayed overnight, just had a great time. So as you guys may know, I play both tournaments and cash. Most of the vlogs end up being cash. Uh, there's just not that many tournaments that I can that I can play in. But this week is heavy in tournament poker. So with that said, let's get to some poker. Come on, baby. Give yet. me a big one. Cash, darn it, not a big one. A lollygagger. Oh, Dwayne. Darn it. I want to play this hand, but now I can't. Wednesday Poker League, we are down to 12 players. Look at this table. Look at that table over there. Look at those 12 players. All right, let's go, Mr. Bill. Table of nine. Seat one, Jimmy, dealer, rag, seat two. Dwayne, turn around. Dwayne, seat three. Dane, seat four. I think Dane's the chip leader. Greg, seat five. I'm Chris, seat six. Chris, seat seven. Manny, Street 8, Allen, Seat 9. Good luck, boys. Here we go. Rags runs pure, baby. We are down to 7 when Jimmy just absolutely crushed Rags. I am all in with this. Jimmy is taking. This is my wheelhouse. I love it. 20 something. 23. Awesome Got 17 more. <laughs> and I have a suit of connectors. Oh my goodness. 20. I would have 20. I would have 26. But I have to hit. Right, I'm going to let it go. <laughs> 17. All the tea in China. Recording? Yeah. Jimmy raised a 17. I went all in for about another 23 or 24 or something. Getting cold yet? No, no. I'm just talking. Just talking to the camera. Six. Another 26. Six. Another 26. And this is in the middle. Yes. <laughs> you want to see? Yes. Sure. You want to see? Yes. yes. You got yes. one ace. Ace times. Oh, times. Even with my aces, I go, I just want one call in. 14. I want them to lose. I'll take the blinds. I don't care. 14. I win. A little bugger. Chick. Chick. Eight. Gosh darn it! Nice. Flop the nutter butters. Jimmy just hit a full house. Dwayne is out in fifth. Nice job, Dwayne. So there are four left: Dane, Jimmy, Chris, and the aforementioned Mr. Bill. Let's go, Mr. Bill! Blinds are four and eight, guys. Not four and eight. Great. I'm surprised I don't lose 20 pounds of luck in high school. I'm all in. Oh. Ooh, all in at a call. All in at a call. Snappage. All in at a call. Base 10, ace jack. Tang it. Let's go 10, baby. Gosh darn it, Dane. Hit me. Yes! 10. Come Eight on, baby. Nine. Little, little, little. Two, three, two, 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 two. Nine. Yes! A oh, Bilster Bill sucks out. Oh my gosh, that is just so ridiculously lucky. You suck! <laughs> they says they suck. Which I do, but we're down to three and I don't care. Uh, what am I, eight? You're the big one. How much is it, Chris? 33. WB 33. 
Jeez. I can, but I can't. Jeez. <laughs> Jeez Louise. 25 more. So Chris here, Chris Taylor, A game. Is usually a pretty tight player. Gosh darn it. I'm such a weenie. 25 more. Well, the knockout. 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. All right, ladies and germs, putting it in maybe bad. Ooh, maybe good though. Ace three against five six. Come on, Jimmy, with an ace. Big one. Yes. We going heads up, me and Jim May. Chris, good game. I almost folded that. We are down to two players, D and Jimmy. Jimmy's been dominating all night. Here we go. I have more chips than him. Take a look at my chips. That's probably a little fuzzy if you do it that fast, probably. And here's his chips. I'm doing, I'm, I'm ahead, but who knows? All right, good luck, Jimmy. Good luck. Okay guys, I'm gonna do something here where, that I hope you find interesting, I think it's very interesting, is uh, I'm now heads up against Jimmy. I'm gonna show you nearly every single hand that we played. Of course, I have a little bit of apprehension about doing this for a couple of reasons. Uh, most of the guys in my league watch this vlog. I certainly plan on getting to many, many final tables and heads up, so they're gonna see a little bit more of how I play. Uh, so I am giving away information. Um, but you know what? Let's do it for the vlog. Let's do it because it's interesting and it's fun. So a couple points of note on this heads up. Number one is we are pretty shallow. Uh, there's 270,000 chips in the entire tournament, and we're playing heads up at 4,000, 8,000, and 5,000, 10,000. So the big stack usually has anywhere between 15 and 20 blinds. So what that means is there really is very, very three bet strategy. Um, there's not a whole lot of, of, obviously no deep stack play, you can't play poker. You have to do other things um, correctly to win the tournament. My opponent, Jimmy, is a much, much tighter player than I am. Um, this actually, I think, works quite to my advantage in Heads Up Match. Now, Jimmy has, has been on another one of my videos where he won uh, a tournament. Take a look, I put a little link up there. So in Heads Up Play, I think you have to be very, very flexible about how you play, depending on your opponent. So there are certain things that I do in this Heads Up Match that I wouldn't do against everybody, um, honestly, Heads up play, I think I'm much better than Jimmy. Uh, of course, hey Jimmy, don't take that wrong. I know you watch my vlog. I think I'm better than pretty much everybody. <laughs> so it wouldn't have mattered who I played, I would have said the same thing. But because Jimmy's tight, uh, I, I do some things in this one that I wouldn't do against everybody. I would have a different strategy. Okay, with those couple of interesting uh, precursors to the heads up match, let's get to the poker. Four and eight. Eight. Check. When Jimmy limps the button and then checks behind on a queen eight deuce flop, I never think he's strong here. So I take advantage by trying to win the pot. Eight. Sixteen. Well, that's a little confusing. At the time, I thought Jimmy was just getting sick of me raising all the time and was just fighting back. I call. Eighteen. I continue my ill-conceived plan. Did you hit that? That was just my own. Yeah. Gosh darn it. Uh, my fault. He knows I've yet to say good hand about yours. Take him. <laughs> you can take that one, Jimmy. And that. Uh oh, we're getting close to. I think we're about close in chips now. I mean, he may even have the lead. I think Jimmy may right. actually have the lead now. Have the I had the lead by 60 40 earlier. He's got it by 55 45 now. Mm -hmm. 
Hey, team. Oh, Jimmy. You forget the words. <laughs> <laughs> I like to not film and play. Oh, just go. 18. He is a pro. Don't try this. <laughs> James calls. Here we go. Let go. Check. 15. Eighteen. Eighteen to bed. I call. Check. 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 Twenty. Where's the queen? Shit. I think. Gosh, that was bad. Caution. I raise. Raising. Ace queen, show uh, Remember that. Uh, that is awesome. 18. Like I, like I told him, he said, you know, I still haven't said good hand yet, so. <laughs> so ridiculous. I got it in good. So, so got ridiculous. Got good, dominated so bad. So ridiculous. Checking. 30. 30 is not a bad. 30 is no bad. It does. Well, it know, does. I'm focused on my wife at the moment. 19. 19. And the fact I almost want a beer, but I'm not sure. That would be a call. Check. This is why this hand is garbage, Dane. That hand is garbage. For you? Hey. Then not doing me better. What is that, Jimmy? You calling? That's a call. Okay. No, I'm sorry. I, you're on the four. That's what I wanted. I didn't know if you knew what you were doing. No, I, okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to let you I take that back and do what you yeah, want to do. Yeah. The blind is there. I was there. putting my blind Yeah, back. no, I, I that. That's why I said that. Blind is good. But now he's calling. Is <laughs> <laughs> it Manny? No, who said that over there? Oh, that was you that said no, that it, you were... You were Last hand at this level. Yeah. Let's go. That, that they were learning. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so, something like that. <laughs> ten. Ten for the ten. ten. My intention on this hand was to limp shove a raise. Ten. I intentionally showed the pocket nines to let him know that I will limp the button with a big hand. He then can't raise every time I limp a hand. This is where all the players are playing that got knocked out earlier. Including Stone. Stone got knocked out very early. See Stone? Stone right there. He got knocked out early, early. <laughs> Stone always likes to be on my vlog, so there he is. We are at 5 and 10. We just took a little break. We are back at five and ten. What are we talking about, right? We are just about I even in that. chips. I changed my game two weeks ago. I wasn't gonna change it this week. We are just about even in chips. Yeah, twenty-two. And that, that's I, I changed mine also for when you and I went heads up. Nice raise with the twenty-two with five dudes. Jimmy, don't be cheating, Jimmy. <laughs> Big cheater. I'm not doing it again. <laughs> I'm sorry. I call. Sixes were my best friend tonight, let me tell you. I'm all in. Oh, wow. <laughs> Straight flush draw. Open ended. Good check. Okay. Ben Haley. 
Kevin did a good version. Check. Of this. Ten. <laughs> this is the longest. This has gone in a while. It's because me and Jimmy are good. Either that or we suck. I one of the two. Well, you guys suck now, but you guys were good because we made you good. Thanks. I already checked. Thank you for going out third and fourth, fellas. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. <laughs> hey, we'll come back in on I'm all in. And who's first? Me? Yes. 22. 22 today. 22 today. Ten more, sir. Just cause. Come on, man. Show me ten. Here we go. Right, guys. Here we go. Ace four, Jack nine. Hold on, ladies and germs. This could be it. Ace four, Jack nine. Here we go. I don't know who's out. Chip two. No, no, no. I need those there where I can see them. Well, okay. I thought, I thought they were. I okay, now you can go. Right here. Beautiful. Put the board right there. Let's go, baby. Oh my. Ten. Oh my, Jimmy's Club. got a ton of outs. <laughs> Little two! Club. Yes! Ah. Yes! Jimmy, good game. Did you win the game? Okay, I limped in, Jimmy raised 20, I shoved all in, he called, and I held up. Well, actually, I gave him the straight and the clubs. <laughs> Mr. Bill Poker wins Wednesday Night Poker League. Seven points for WSOP. Winning hand right here. Very, very good match against Jimmy at the end. Uh, we lasted a long, long time. So anyhow, uh, uh, again, seven points for the World Series and a nice one. I think I got six, seven hundred dollars. Good deal. We're happy. Congrats, you suck. Thank you. <laughs> Make sure to All right, guys, my friend Jason came and uh, joined us at Wednesday Night Poker League tonight. Did you have fun? I had a ball. I had a blast. Yeah. So what was what was, what was did you like about it? Just a good group of guys. Everybody's fun. Yeah. You know, made it for a really great environment to play. Yeah. I ended, I ended up winning the tournament tonight. I'm giving credit to Jason. Mr. Luck yeah, exactly. And I'll take it. <laughs> So I told Jason I'd give him credit that but because he came here. You know, I'm as good looking. I had to impress people by winning. So. Right. I'm as good looking. <laughs> Anyhow, I appreciate you coming. Yeah, man. I've had it's dinner with Jason and his family, and it's uh, really good people. Uh, yeah. So, fun stuff. All right, man. Thank See you. Ya. All right, bye. bye. All right. Windstar, Friday night, 2 5 game. Bought it for 500, the maximum. Uh, sat down at the first table. Immediately realized that it was a tough table, and about five hands into it, I asked for a table change. I did play one hand at the table, probably not the most stellar hand. I had four or five of clubs under the gun with $500. I make it 20 under the gun, the MP1 calls, the cutoff calls, and the button calls. So we go to a flop with 87 in the pot, and it comes five of hearts, six of clubs, jack of clubs, about as good as I could expect for raising with four or five of clubs. I make it 60, middle position player one calls, the other two fold. <clears throat> the turn is the ace of diamonds. Uh, looks pretty good for me, I'm the pre-flop raiser, although he could definitely be calling with ace, an ace here. So I make it 110, he shoves all in for 500. Boy, I tank for quite some time, it's another, what, <clears throat> 290 to me or something like that. I end up making the fold. Not the greatest of starts. So they call me for the second table, tell me to go to table 19. I go there and it's full, and there's a number of players who are playing at 19 that I know pretty well. Um, my buddy Arnie is one of them, and he says, hey, as soon as there's an over table here, we'll welcome you, donkey, over here anytime. I told him, as soon as the seat opens, hopefully next to you, then I'm coming. So anyhow, so I was sitting two tables away. I was only there for five hands, and I played one hand at this table. Um, I'm in the small blind with three of hearts, four of hearts, with $500. The cutoff and the button both limp. I make the call, and the big blind checks. So there's 20 in the pot for a, to a flop of 10 of spades, ace of hearts, queen of hearts. Uh, I make it 15, uh, the cutoff calls. The turn with 50 in the pot is the eight of clubs. Um, I check, he bets very, very small, $20. I got a flush draw, I'm going. So I make the call. The river with 90 in the pot, it's the king of hearts. My flush comes in. I bet very, very small also, <laughs> $35. He tanks. 
He calls, I show my flush, and he mucks. So I move over to the table with my buddy Arnie and immediately become card dead. <laughs> It was either 90 to uh, 90 minutes to two hours. I literally played two hands. I played ace, queen, I played queen, jack, I won one, I lost one, and everything else I just whittled away blinds and just no, no hands at all. Which was too bad because there was quite a lot of action at this table. Lots of three bets, four bets, getting it all in, and I didn't have any of the fun. As I told you guys before, vloggers are not immune to the having to sit there and wait and wait and wait for good hands, just like everybody else. Uh, it's easy to get impatient. I think I did a pretty good job and didn't do that this time. Finally, under the gun with $500, I get eight of clubs, nine of diamonds, uh, and I'm, I'm on the straddle for $10. I straddle on the button. Uh, there were six players at 10. The flop comes with 62 in the pot, jack of clubs, 10 of clubs, two of diamonds. I am open-ended. It checks to me. I make it $20. MP2 makes the call. The big blind then makes it $40. Very, very small little raise. I call and the MP2 calls. So the turn now with 182 in the pot comes the king of spades and it checks around. The river is the queen of hearts giving me the low end of the straight. It all checks around. Uh, the MP2 had jack seven. The big blind had a jack X. And I win with the small end of the straight. Next, I'm in the hijack with king of spades, jack of clubs. I have $700 now. I'm working my way back up. I think I was into the game for $800. Um, there was a weak player under the gun that made it 25. And then there was a really what I considered a pretty bad player in the MP2 who made the call. I'm in position, King Jack. I raise it up to 125, folds around to those guys. The first guy tank, folds. The second guy tanks longer, tank, 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 fold. Not sure what they had, but this is the first time I three bet all evening because I was getting absolutely no cards. So I'm sure that they had to give me some credit, but easy way to pick up $55. Finally, last hand, I'm in middle position two with pocket sevens and I have $700. The under the gun limps, I make it 25. The hijack and the cutoff call. The flop with 87 in the pot comes eight, seven, three, woo hoo. We check it around. The turn is the queen. I bet very, very small, $35. And they both fold. Ugh, I thought I might win a big one. <laughs> oh well. So I played, what, three and a half, four hours at Windstar, and I won a whopping $15. <laughs> okay, I mentioned last week that I might go to Tulsa to play in the World Series of Poker circuit event, uh, which would have been last weekend, and I did not go. However, I am planning on going this weekend. One of the reasons is because the Ohio State University Buckeyes play Iowa State in the first round of the NCAA tournament on Friday in Tulsa. So I'm gonna get tickets for that, uh, take Billy and maybe Vicky and maybe one of Billy's friends, and we're gonna go to the Ohio State basketball game on Friday, and then Billy and I are planning on playing in the main event on Saturday. What is that, March the 21st. So if you see me or you see Billy, give us a shout out in Tulsa at the Hard Rock. Hey, did I mention that I got a package in the mail? Woo hoo! I was so excited. I've been waiting for this package for months. Uh, I have some footage of me actually opening up the package. Here we go. Oh my gosh, you guys, I cannot be any more excited. The first order of Mr. Bill shirts from Queensboro is here. This is going to be the box opening. So, here we go. Oh, I love it. I love it. Those are the shirts I got from Queensboro. Yes, I'm very, very, very happy. Uh, take the poll up here. Let me know if you would be interested in a shirt. Okay, on that note, I'm going to end on this vlog. A very, very successful week. Very, very happy. Very confident going into the WSOP circuit. So, thank you guys for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for commenting. Thanks for saying hello in person when you see me and all the good stuff. Have a nice, fun, blessed week. I'm going to have a blessed week. And we'll see you guys all next 
time. Bye.